It is an awesome Tuesday morning. We are on our way to go pick up the coolest thing you guys have ever seen. Pick something up on Facebook Marketplace. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise. It's big, it's long, it's four-wheel drive, and I think it fits 37s and 20 people. So stay tuned, this is gonna be great. Or it's gonna be terrible, who knows? Today's video is sponsored by the Teotronic Sound Liberty 88 noise-reducing Bluetooth headphones. I've been wearing these around the shop for about three days now, and I've gotta say, these compete with the, uh, the big box ones, if you know what I'm referring to, at a fraction of the price. Let me pop them in here. They grabbed my phone right away with the open to pair technology. I believe you get up to a 25 hour battery life on a single charge out of this case. Uh, I can use the earbuds independently, left and right. If I want to extend my charge, I kind of put one back in the case and go with it. I will say though, the noise reducing technology is amazing. If you've got coworkers that you just don't want to hear anymore, Make sure you guys use the code in the link below to get 20% off your order of the Teotronic Sound Liberty 88 Bluetooth wireless headphones. We are here with a surprise and I am epically excited about this one. Wait till you guys see what we have purchased. Dun, da, da, dun. 32 feet of Hummer excellence. Check this thing out. What a unit. Now for $5,500, nobody else would have passed this thing up. Oh, look at the Supreme bodywork. Yeah. Oh, we got to check out the inside of this bad boy. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. Oh, yes. Oh, this is happening. Oh, wow. Okay, first impressions. The smell, it's permeating. I'm pretty sure the sunroof leaks and I'm sitting in a lake of pond water. Yeah, that checks out. I've never been in something more amazing and terrible all at once. Look at this. Like, what is going on? Oh, yeah. We have a fire exit. Hold inside buttons, click up handle, push open. Oh, let's, let's close that. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of 3M tape, man. We're going to fix this. This is great. Whew. What's on the roof? Oh. I am impressed. I've got to say, this thing is amazing. Oh, it's got TVs. What? Dude, the seats are heated back here? We have a full bee's nest. Oh. Are they live? Mm. Yeah, it's cold. I'm not allergic to bees or anything. You guys want to watch... Ah! You guys want to watch John going to anaphylaxis in the middle of a video? This would be great. Oh, okay. One complaint. They didn't match it. What the heck? That's terrible. What do we got? Hot. Hot tub? Hot tub? Coleman hot tub? Will a Coleman hot tub fit in this? Let us know in the comments below if we should truck cut this thing and put a hot tub in it. Okay, so it doesn't run. Something's locked up in the accessory drive. That's all we got from the previous owner. It's got a flat tire. Whew. So in J&J fashion, we brought an air compressor, some hand tools, a half-charge battery, and a jump box. And we're going to send it. Yeah, let's see what we got going on here. Oh. Oh. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look. Coolers on coolers. Yes, we've got coolers and fans. We're just going to take this belt off, put a normal belt on it, and uh, as they say, send it. Oh, look at that custom zip tie mod. That's nice. I wonder if this will make it to LS Fest 2021. It is an LS. We're going to get started on this terrible repair. All right. Step one of this uh, rebuild is going to be the belt. So... Let's work on getting this off. LQ4 DIY belt change, take one. Okay, Woo! belt's off. All right, drive it home, let's go. We did buy a new belt at the uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Not a paid product placement if you guys are watching. So if y'all are doing a Hummer H2 belt change, you're gonna need a K060930 from the local auto parts store. I don't know why I just went to straight redneck voice, but whatever. Uh... Uh, uh, is the rubber supposed to be rusted to the pulleys? I've never seen a belt stuck in the pulley before. Oh, hold on. Hard work here. It also, is. a great time to tell Dave that I did not test that battery. I put it on a charge overnight. Have no idea what it did. Didn't even check the voltage. So preparation and just not ideal around here. Okay. Still, back to this. This is a great time for one of those jump cuts. Like, boom, John finished it. Ah, your mother was a Ford. P 
PG things I have to say. What is going on in here? Literally probably should have brought a Phillips so I could have looked at this. I have a Phillips. Or a flathead. I have a flathead. Yeah, let's probably try to remove this. Oh, does the Craftsman handy tool get to save the day? Yes, it does. Where is it? The Craftsman 20 piece combo kit saving the day, coming in clutch here. We're going to use these awesome bits to remove this air cleaner tube. <laughs> Boy, I literally have a shop full of tools and this is what we're doing. Oh, these are quality. I almost didn't grab the pry bar here, but this thing has become an invaluable tool. Come on, baby. <laughs> this thing hasn't been apart in so long. Everything is literally just like locked on. I feel like we're gonna find like a mouse nest. Oh, dude. Somebody's plastic was this. Why don't we just put a mask on it? I'm peeling the belt off the pulleys. This is... V6, V8, or diesel? V6? Look, the core support has a belt diagram for a V6 on it. <laughs> Look at the grooves in this pulley. That's the old belt. That's not grooves. That's the old belt material. If this thing doesn't throw a belt right away, I'm going to be amazed. I love that we're literally in the ghetto of Canton behind some sketchy closed down house and car dealership with a Hummer limo putting a belt on it. All of the decisions in my life have led me to this exact moment and I couldn't be happier. Well, I lied. I'd be happier if this belt would just go on the pulley. All right. Let's see what we got here now. Ah, that's a belt. I guess we could hook this back up. I'm optimistic. Gotta put the truck's mask back on. There she goes. We're gonna leave these clamps loose. Quick release. Feeling we might need to be, get back into this. First start, let's see what we've got. It's charging! It doesn't even have a light, dude. No airbag light, no check engine light. This thing is a unit. Wow. This is a proud moment in my life. Check this out. These are gonna go good at 80. Ow, there's like a cord coming through. Nice. You the other side? No, I didn't even look yet. Oh, yeah, I brought a compressor. It's all right. All right, let's get this tire pumped up. Via Air, you have saved our butts so many times, just in the last week alone. This is not a paid product placement for Via Air, unless you guys are watching, but this compressor for 100 bucks, guys, is amazing. I've got a flat 35 on a Hummer. We're gonna pump it up here really fast and see what it does. Right now, we are currently waiting for the Hummer tire to air up, but I just wanna do a quick walk around of uh, where we found this thing. Literally in a parking lot in the middle of nowhere off the side of a highway. We paid for this thing. We were given keys and address and they said, just send it. This is by far probably my favorite, like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, hit me up, whatever purchase of all time. We bought some cool stuff, but a Hummer H2 limo abandoned in a parking lot. What could go wrong with this one? And nothing so far. So Dave is gonna take the first uh, drive in it. He's very excited. I like my driving record. This thing screams, pull me over. So let's watch. Operate, what, what should we call this thing? Operation, I don't think it has brakes. This might be one of the worst ideas I've had in a long time. You stop, she's fine. <laughs> the drive home starts now, wish us luck, folks. We've literally made it to the end of the road and he's already stuck, he can't find a way out. Oh, nice turn signal, Dave. <laughs> oh god <sighs> oh dude it barely turns you're 
left front wheel has like four degrees of camber. I think I know why the tires are wasted. Here we go. We're gonna have to be right lane 55 mile an hour. We are irritating some people. Oh, the cloud. The cloud of smoke from your exhaust is amazing. I believe you're on fire. You blew a trans line, pull over. Hey, I can make it to the exit. Try it. Well, something's happened here. Let's see what the carnage is. I can't wait. I'm pretty sure we just blew a line. I'm watching Dave's truck dribble as he goes down the road. Camera's not gonna pick it up, but there's a nice uh, steady trail that I can follow him. What happened? Something's wrong. Something wrong? We too low? Transmission fluid? Yep. Yep. You peed yourself, man. We can fix it. No, we can't. Let's try. All right, let's see what happened here. It's leaking something from the middle. Oh, down low. Yeah, steering? Power steering? I see the problem. What is it? There's a line that has popped out of its hose clamp. Oh. That's, that's, but it's, okay. So if you look right here, See that power steering line that used to come out of the old radiator? Yeah. Yeah, see that rubber line kind of dangling next yeah. to it? Yeah. Well, at least we can fix it. Yeah. Is it tranny fluid or is it power steering? No, that's, tra that's trans. Okay, so we need to get more tranny fluid in that too. That might be optimal. Yeah, we might need to go make a quick parts store run before I we- right, I bet you they have some over here at Mixer's Pub. Ooh, yeah. What if we just bought this? Let's go check this out. Like every true car guy, when something breaks, you just buy something else. Look at this beautiful 2500. Oh man, look at Dave trying to fix this thing. So we made it like five miles to the other side of town. Now we have to patch a transmission line to get this thing home. This is gonna get interesting. All right, I've resumed cameraman duties here. Dave has uh, decided to lay in transmission fluid and try to bandage this thing back together. It appears the previous owner put a transmission cooler on it, didn't flare the line, and the rubber just blew right off the uh, metal portion as you guys can see here we've got coolers for days we've got a fan mounted just kind of floating in space i don't know what this thing's story is oh they grounded it to the rebar this thing was probably like 150 grand and this thing has had just a rough life it slid right back off oh yeah you'll have that is she not flared the metal line is there any sort of like a flare on it yeah that's why it's sliding right off it's a little bit cold out here Paid product placement for j, j Auto Wrecking. All the parts you need for your Hummer H2 and more. You need it, we've got it. Or this girl's got it. Let's do a quick walk around while Dave uh, does work because that's what we do best. Look at how long this thing is. You can really get a good perspective of it from here. This thing is like a city block. Wow. Look at that in that majestic backdrop. Update. We've identified the source of the leak. It is the awesome transmission cooler setup. So that hose down there that Dave's working on comes all the way up here to where the factory one used to be, goes around here to some metal, to some more rubber, to this cooler, back down to more rubber. Wait, there's more patched in metal. These are the OEM trans lines that they have just relocated up here. Oh, this is great. How much more slack you need, dude? So you've got all the slack in the world. These are literally the OEM transmission lines they bent. Like they just repurpose these things. I have a feeling we're about to make an O'Reilly's trip and build a transmission cooler. Hey Siri, take me to the nearest auto parts store. The nearest one I see is Walmart auto Ooh, we got a Walmart. Is that the one you want? A Bolt. Performance starter and alternator. We needed them a minute ago. Let's pick advance. This should work well. Seven minutes. Couldn't have picked a better place to break down, dude. All right, let's go. On the way to the parts store, we are literally stopping traffic, but there is an XR4 Ti chilling in the hood. We have made it to Advance Auto Parts. Uh, luckily, it was only like seven minutes away. We're going to run in there, grab some hose, some high-pressure clamps, a little bit of advice, maybe a prayer, and hopefully we can get this thing home. Just park shopping. What if we just take one of these? 
9 sixteenths to 5 eighths. Math says that'll work. What if we filled it with like 75 90 so it leaked out slower? Day one of Hummer ownership and it's already taken money. We are back at the Hummer. We've got some transmission fluid, a piece of hose, and some advice from the guys at Advance. Let's get this repair started. She is back running, but we are way low on tranny fluid, so we're gonna give her, oh. Should there be smoke coming out of the dipstick? Probably not. Nah, whatever. This is not mathematical at all. Still needs a little more. When in doubt, top her off. Where's that other fluid? You're gonna wanna keep, <laughs> Now, when you're working on your Hummer, universal multi-vehicle ATF is what we recommend. This stuff is cheap and it works and we're about to prove it. All these guys that say you need synthetic Dexron 6, Napam, Ams Oil, Schaefer's, all that shenanigans, send it. There's no way that's dead nuts on. That looks like a solid unit to me, man. That's what she said. Let's send it. We are back on the road with a repaired Hummer. We got the uh, line back on it, got some quality transmission fluid installed in her. We're gonna get her back to J&J &J and kind of check her out. So far, the transmission repair has been a success. Home stretch, we are like three miles from the shop. I think she's gonna make it. So we got the Hummer back to the shop and immediately everybody wanted to check this thing out. So we all loaded up into this thing and decided to take it to the test and give her a pond loop where we drove it around the big old pond out back here. Got it stuck, had to get it out with a loader. And of course the GoPro let us down and dropped all of the audio recording off of it. So we got a nice montage of us having fun, but no real audio. That's going to wrap up the video on the Hummer though, guys. It's back here nice and dirty. We're going to have to clean it up. Not really sure what we're going to do with this thing, so we're looking for you guys to tell us what you want to see. Uh, we've got 300 acres that we can not really destroy this thing on, but we can jump it, we can put it to the test, we can try to take it off-road, put a hot tub in it. We're not really sure what we're going to do with it, guys. So like I said, we want you to let us know in the comments down below what we should do with this Hummer. I'm John from J&J, &J, guys. Thanks for watching.